Hello everyone, it is I, the superest of Tajis. I know it's been a while. Also, don't mind the hair, it's kind of messy. I just got done working out. So, with that being said, I have a very exciting announcement. I'm going to be participating in the Indie Fighting Games Festival this weekend, Saturday and Sunday at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Mark it on your calendar. <laughs> Shameless plug here. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash SuperTaji. We're gonna be streaming a lot of hidden gems. You better be there. I think it's time I show you what kind of games we're gonna be streaming Saturday and Sunday. All right, let's start with the first one. All right, so the first game on the list is going to be Frostfire. Let's listen to that intro. Hey, what the hell is that? Cut that Dark Lord bullshit! Oh, come on, Shadow. This is our first trailer and you've just messed it up. Who cares? Today I'll beat you down. Sarah! Judging from the intro alone, you can see that this game already has a lot of personality. And that is something that I really appreciate nowadays, especially when it comes to fighting games. It's not something you really see too often. I think it's safe to say that I'm definitely going to be a shadow main. I'm not gonna lie though, both characters look phenomenal. I'm really curious to see what kind of lore is going on between these two. Sarah looks really clean too. I'm curious to see how much she can squat. Let's go ahead and check out the next game on the list. All right, so the next game is going to be Five Force Fighters. I've been following this game for about a year or so and I've been trying to keep up with everything on Twitter. And I have to say the presentation, the aesthetics, the music, and just the overall combos and the flashiness is incredible. Just by watching from the presentation and the trailer of these two characters, I honestly don't even really know what's going on. It seems very fast paced, combos left and right, looks like there's a lot of air combos, lots of mix ups going on. Game looks absolutely fire. Next game is coming up is Arsis Chroma. I could be saying that wrong, so please forgive me if I am. No, I don't have a lot of information on this one either, but it looks like the game is very fast paced. Some good parrying defensive mechanics. You love to see it. Got a nice throw there. Character designs are extremely unique. I'm excited for this one. Heck yeah. Up next on our list is Resistance 24X. This game is phenomenal. I actually played an older build of the game sometime last year and I enjoyed it. It was just the one character that you're seeing on the screen here. Now, there's a lot to unpack with Resistance 24X. However, I do not want to spoil it here because I want to save it for the stream. The best way to sum it up, though, is that this game is a race to the finish style fighting game. Get to the finish before your opponent does. You have counter hits, combos, whiff punishing, there's neutral tools such as projectiles. There's a lot in this, and each time you die, you get set back further whenever you respawn, so it brings you further away from the goal. Definitely add this one to your wish list on Steam. I cannot wait to see more. All right, so the last game I am looking forward to stream this weekend is Buck Up and Drive. Go really fast. Grindy gameplay. That's insane. Pink backflipping trucks on the fucking moon. Bunk traffic. Bonk the police. <laughs> Bonk your cousin. Eggplant car. Love to see it. Oh my god. I just have to say that all of these games look absolutely phenomenal. Huge shout out to the organizer and organizers for the Indie Fighting Games Fest. Thank you so much for getting in touch with me, making this process easy. Big shout out to Resistance 24X. Thank you so much for letting me know about the event and getting in touch with me. I really appreciate that. I am truly thankful. If there are any content creators out there who is also going to be doing some content on these games or just in general, I would love to meet some of you all, meet some new faces in the community. I'm going to leave some links in the description where you can find the Indie Fighting Games Festival page with all of the streamers, content creators, all of the times, all of that good stuff. I'm going to list it in the description down below. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, maybe a subscribe as well, and follow me on Twitch because I do a lot more stuff on Twitch. I'm trying to ease my way into YouTube. If you guys enjoy the content, let me know. I gotta get motivated and put some more stuff out there. I will see you this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. Have a nice day, guys.